Oh snap, this thing's on. That's gonna be my new thing. It's gonna comb my hair and pretend I don't know the thing's on. Surprise myself. You know, like the fake selfie like they have with that lady with the chip player. Right? Anyways, why am I doing this? Uh, it's Richard Jones. Rich, Mr. Jones, Master Jones, as some people know me. Um, all of a sudden, I'm starting to post videos like I don't know what, and everyone's like, why? Why are you doing that? Um, outside of the perfunctory response, because I am also going to say, when am I going to stop combing my hair? Guess what? Hashtag never. Um, I just realized I probably should be recording this. Like, I've been writing books for years up here. Uh, anything on paper? Yeah, lots of little scribbles and everything. And all of a sudden, this one amazing student of mine, without any prompting whatsoever, and that's what makes it so amazing, she comes up to me and hands me um, something that looks like a, I don't know, a manuscript, you know, for a very, very short play. Skit, maybe. Um, I'll show you what it is, if I can cover it up here. Sorry, a little close to my beard. But, um... At any rate, you guys see that? Things that Mr. Jones says. Okay? Um, and I was looking at it, and I saw like it was a lot of quotes. A lot of them. A lot of things I said in the class. And I'm like, not only did she take notes in my class on math and algebra, which was what I was teaching, but also she wrote down things that I said that she found um, important in a different way. The things that were memorable to her. Little snippets of things that made her say, wow, I haven't really heard a teacher say that. So I'm going to write it down, type it up, and hand it in. Um, she's also the person who literally has plastered my wall with these awards. Brings them in in the multitudes every day. And I want to say, if I were to record over uh, time, a geometric sequence um, of a representation of how much of these she brings in, um, I would have to say it would not be a geometric sequence. It would be uh, more to the quad quadratic, as in exponentially. Okay? And this one. Okay? Why did I get a rock solid award? Um, because our punishment being not write-ups, but taking away our cool nicknames, or taking away our nicknames. And I was thinking about that, and that was pretty progressive. Yeah, most teachers are quick to the write-up, quick to the get out of my classroom, quick to, you know, whatever you got to say to offend the kid to get them to be quiet. Um, you don't want to go too far with that. You know, you want to go just enough to get them to get the point that I should be paying attention right now and uh, my brain's focus should be changed. Um, and, and kids, especially middle school kids, with their buckets um, that I've made reference to having multiple holes in them. And now I'm not saying holes as in they have a hole in their brain like they're lacking something. It's more that they have differing needs and desires and, and uh, just different things that make them happy in their life. And these holes in the bucket aren't just holes as in there's nothing there. These holes most assuredly have tubes connected to them that lead to other parts of their lives like um, video games and boyfriends and girlfriends and um, anything besides homework that they do after school. Clubs and activities. We just had a pep rally at school and really made me sit and realize just how many things that my students, I teach math for one hour a day, have that amazing privilege to do. Just how much they do, and how t like twisted their lives are, and how they're just mini versions of adults. You know, They're just adults with a little more confusion mixed in with it because they're changing every day, might I say exponentially. Um, so this is why I'm sitting and doing this, just to record things that, I don't know, yeah, Maybe I'm a little bit full of myself, but what I've always said to my wonderful, amazing wife, Gina, is, babe, if I'm not full of myself, then I'd be full of somebody else. And that's not okay. And, you know, we take that tongue-in-cheek. It's obviously just a joke. It's not like, oh, I, uh, it's about me because I'm about me, and 
you know, I haven't graduated to the point where I care about other people. It hasn't got to that point. I will say I am selfish, but I do also want to say I want a record of things that I said. One of these days, my children will probably want to know, hey, what was dad like at this particular time? And maybe they don't remember for any reason. And maybe someone's not ready to regale the tale. Um, so I just want to have a record of it. Um, it's going to be written in a book. This is what I'm talking about is going to be a book, guaranteed. All of this right here is like the, the preamble to what is going to be my constitution, okay? Um, the name of several books I've written, one of them, oh, I just wrote the name down now. I thought it was really good. Uh, one was, is it growth mindset or do you just suck at school? Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Turning the flipped classroom on its head is one other book I'm writing. Um, why you suck and how to fix it is another one. And they're not just titles of a book, they're all just ideas I have. Um, not just ideas that are titles and then write the book. The book's in my head, I'm coming up with the ideas that would summarize but also tantalize at the same time. So at any rate, um, I did write some notes about what I wanted to talk about today. And that today would be written in green. Okay, we're going to talk about homework. And um, I'm going to put the homework, the home part of it, in quotations, air quotes. I hate using air quotes because it's uh, borderline sarcastic. Well, it's sarcastic, borderline sardonic. As in, like, it's sarcasm with a little bit of malice mixed in with it. You know, ill intent. So, at any rate, why am I talking about homework? Um, I'm going to tie it in directly to something I just invented right now. I wrote it down so I can claim the term immediately. Let me make sure I got this written down correctly. Yes, the following term, which I'm also going to label this video as, uh, is mine. Invented, named, defined, and identified by Richard A. Jones II, which is me. And if it somehow comes out as just Richard A. Jones, uh, that is also me. My father was named Richard Arnold Jones. He named me Richard Arnold Jones as well. And he was quick to say, how uh, poor my mother was at education just because she forgot to put a junior on my name. And that was a slap to my mother and to me because that's my mom, bro. So at any rate, um, I am always gonna be Richard A. Jones the second, but as far as rank, if this was Fortnite, I would be the last one, on, last one there, okay? Eliminated by me, all right? And yes, kids, I finally got on Fortnite. Uh, it, it took two weeks. Ironically, right? Because it's a fortnight, guys. Come on, do your homework. Speaking of homework, let's talk about it. It's been eight minutes. I haven't talked about it. Um, oh, and the term that is invented, named, defined, and identified by me is called geomemorization. And it sounds like you're memorizing where things are. Not true. And maybe how I constructed the term is not exactly what it should be. So if someone out there finds another way to name it and recall it that, Whatever that is, I also call dibs on that and the idea behind it because I'm the one who created it. Um, it's just an establishment of some, an understanding of truth that people may not realize until it's brought to their attention. I am now thusly bringing it to thy attention. Okay, so geomemorization, what is it? It is the very reason why you must, as of my student, do your homework at home. It doesn't have to be necessarily at home. Okay, um, it could be on a subway, uh, on the, what is it called? It's like a subway, but it's a train, goes through Phoenix, it's multiple construction years, light rail, okay? How heavy-handed light rail. Light rail, however, wherever you want to do this, okay? Um, everyone's focusing on, oh, you want to be in the same kind of scholarly situation where you're doing your homework as your classwork. And no, not true. Quite the opposite, actually. You get kind of pigeonholed into not being able to learn and understand unless you're in a quiet, scholarly environment if you stick yourself to only doing academic things in a scholarly environment, okay? Anyone at the library says, shh, I'm like, shh, yourself, okay? It can be loud, get over it, all right? I tell my kids this all the time, uh, my students and my own children. If you get in, uh, what is it, interrupted by somebody, all right, that is just training for the future. Mr. Jones, I'm trying to focus. You keep pointing to stuff. 
Yeah, in college it's going to be a lot worse, okay? You're going to have a final that you know you need to take the next day, and someone's going to be say, hey, they have this huge party over at blah, blah, blamda, blamda. And oh, Carpopolis is going to be there too. And like, what are you talking about? I got a final tomorrow. No, it's going to be, if you miss this, this, you will miss a great night. And then it's the same thing. You're going to have to be able to say no to that. There's going to be distractions in your life. You're going to have to say no. That is not the title of this, but that will be the one I'm doing next. That's my next chapter, dealing with distractions. I already wrote this. I'm just rewriting it right here. So that's the next chapter. That'll be another video. But let's focus on homework, guys. Why is it important to do homework outside of some place that's academia? Um, I'm going to talk about produce while I drink some right now. Okay, a little bit of pear juice for me. And maybe it's just my ideas, but I think I got to take this off a little bit. I do apologize. There will be bare shoulders, but that is it. Okay, no screaming. Just want to represent my Phoenix Suns, KJ. And I say Sacktown. Uh, I know it's Sacramento Kings, but KJ was the mayor of Sacramento. I don't know if he still is or not. So just in case you want to know what the inside of my 